Okay, question number eight. A balloon rises at a steady vertical velocity of 10 meter per second. A balloon is dropped from the balloon at a height of, an object is dropped from a height of uh, 40 meter above the ground. So, this is the ground, this is the balloon. From here, an object is being dropped over here. The height of the balloon from the ground is also given to you, which is 40 meter. Okay. And then, uh, air is negligible. What is the time taken for the object to hit the ground? So, how much time does the time, or how much time does the object take to reach the ground? When it reaches here, what is the time taken? So, what do we do here? First, draw the x and y axis. This is my x axis and this is my y axis. This is my y axis. When I do this, now what will happen? When I, since I am throwing the object from here, I am dropping the object, not throwing, I am dropping the object over here. This already has a velocity of 10 meter per second. Then what will happen? This object will take up this velocity. Why should it take? For example, let us say for example, you are going in a bus. Okay, you are holding the, uh, what you call, the handle of the bus. Now, as the bus is moving, now let us say you jump from the bus. Okay, when you are, the bus is in running condition, you jump from the bus. You don't do it generally. Okay, but I am saying, if suppose, if you jump, you generally school students and college students do it, right? Okay, when they jump from the bus, what will happen? You will not jump directly, but instead you will not just land over there. You will land and then you start running on, right? Why do you run? The reason is because you catch the velocity of the bus, so you will not get hurt. But if you just jump without running, you will abruptly fall there, which means what? The velocity of the bus should be carried by you in order to not get the harm. Okay, let us not try this practically. I am just telling you how people do it. Okay, so therefore, so in a similar way, when when the object is being thrown over here, it carries the velocity of this object and then what does it do? It just goes up for a certain distance and then it takes an U-turn and comes back like this and falls to the ground. So why does it go only for a certain distance? Because it has a velocity 10 meter per second, but as it keeps on going, the velocity keeps on decreasing until it reaches become zero. Why does the velocity decrease? Reason is because the gravity is trying to pull it down. It may take some more time for me, but anyway, this problem is very important. I need to explain all the terms clearly. Okay. So therefore, now this is what has happened. So let us compute. Now what is that we need to do? So in everywhere, starting from the point where you dropped and the point it reaches the ground, there is one thing which is constant. What is it? The acceleration due to gravity, which is always seen to be minus 10. Why minus 10? Some people always take something as going upwards as positive, going downward as negative. Don't do like that. Okay. Acceleration is always negative. Acceleration due to gravity is always negative. It doesn't mean deceleration. It is a, in the opposite direction, in the downward direction. Okay. So, therefore, now, so you have, this is your initial velocity, u equal to initial velocity. Let us use your equation, s equal to ut plus half a t square. Now, what is s? s is nothing but displacement. Displacement from this is your initial point, this is your final point. What is the displacement? 40 meters. Okay. It is not the total distance, displacement. Okay. In equations of motion, we only use the displacement. So, this, what is this displacement? Is it positive or negative? It is a negative displacement. Why? Anything that goes upwards, anything that you measure upwards is positive. Anything that is measured downward is negative. You are measuring the displacement in the downward direction. So, this should be negative. Minus 40 should be equal to u. You are throwing it upwards. Okay. So, it is 10 into t plus half into a is minus 10 multiplied by t squared. So, therefore, so if I take 10 common outside, I will get minus 4 is equal to t minus t square divided by 2, right? And now if I cross multiply this, I get this as minus 8 is equal to 2t minus t square, right? Now if I bring all the terms to the other side, I get t square minus 2t minus 8 equal to 0. Now I need to factorize this. How do I do it? I do this as t square minus 4t plus 2t minus 8 is equal to 0. I can write like this or I can now write t into t minus 4 plus 2 into t minus 4 is equal to 0, or t minus 4 is common. So, I can now write t minus 4 into t plus 2 is equal to 0, t is equal to 4 seconds or minus 2 seconds. Minus 2 is not possible because the time is always positive, time is never negative. So, this is incorrect. This is the correct answer, t equal to 4 seconds. Answer is C. Okay.